Welcome to Recap R Studio. Today's movie recap is titled Bullet Trained by Brad Pitt as the main character. After the kid was thrown from a roof in contemporary Tokyo, the boy's father, Yuichi, spends his time at his side. His father, Yuichi, the older, pays him a visit as well, but he is harsh rather than encouraging, wondering where he was when his son needed him. Later, he decides it's time to get retribution and goes to collect his pistol. A very unfortunate American mercenary converses on the phone with his handler Maria while wandering the city streets, and she gives him the codename Ladybug as a pawn for his misfortune. His task is to grab a mystery briefcase with a sticker on the handle while boring the bullet train. Another mercenary named Carver was scheduled to do this task, but he couldn't do of illness. When he gets to the station, Ladybug unintentionally runs into Yuichi, causing him to lose his ticket and locker key without realizing it. Ladybug, who is skilled in picking locks, is fortunately able to enter the locker and provide him access to the sleeping powder he had asked but makes him decline the pistol. The conductor must be persuaded to allow them in using just the receipt by Ladybug. However, he boards the plane without incident and follows the directions on a letter that was left for him by the person who attempted to murder his kid. When he discovers a little, gorgeous girl sitting on the seat, he first believes he'd done something wrong before the child starts chasing him. Prince is a young lady who commits crimes by pretending to be an innocent girl. Ladybug discovers the suitcase on the baggage rack at the end of the carriage after listening to Maria's orders via an earpiece, however, she is unaware that it belongs to two assassin brothers with the codes Tangerine and Lemon who are also traveling. Lemon, who is fascinated with analogies involving Thomas the tank engine and often carries a sheet of Thomas stickers with him, is the source of the sticker on the suitcase. The siblings have abducted the son of White Death, the most feared mafia lord, in addition to protecting the briefcase. In order to keep his kid out of danger and return him to his father with a briefcase full of the ransom money that some of White Death's adversaries owed him, he hired the brothers. Tangerine's handler often calls to see whether everything is well. But Lemon finds the briefcase is missing when he double-checks the rack. Lemon isn't concerned since he believes that the most crucial aspect of the mission is to bring the son alive. Tangerine must thus fully explain the white death to him in order for him to comprehend. Formerly, a guy by the name of Minejishi who was renowned for both his cruelty and devotion oversaw the Japanese underworld. A former Russian mafia guy joined Minagishi his clan one day and rose through the ranks till he was made an advisor. He wasn't trusted by the other counselors, and they attempted to warn me, but Nagishi didn't listen, and that choice ultimately led to his demise. The White Death, a Russian guy, formed his own gang, murdered me Nagishi and all of his men in a single night. He is now recognized as the head of the world's greatest criminal organization and a lone deranged murderer. Despite the fact that since his wife's death in a vehicle accident, he hasn't left his complex. He didn't come for his kid personally, instead, he hired the brothers. He sought for the experts who had completed the notorious Bolivia project. When they returned to the sun to explain the change of plans, they must promptly get the briefcase. The sun is dead, and whatever killed him left him bleeding from his eyes, the siblings learned. Things have become much worse. To give you an example, when he eventually awakens, Prince was raped his wife. Additionally, she has a duty in the hospital. Therefore, if you murder her, his son also perishes. Prince, who works for the White Death, is familiar with you. Two days ago, he gave a briefcase to one of the White Death's accomplices. She then saw her chance. She might locate the White Death if she followed the briefcase. Prince has asked Yuichi to murder White Death for her, which is why he is present. Ladybug, meantime, has escaped to a different carriage and is preparing to disembark at the next stop. However, he discovers that the wolf, a mercenary who served a violent Mexican gang, has barred the entryway. He unintentionally dropped his wine glass weeks previously on the day of his wedding, and the delay in drinking that followed saved his life. With their eyes bleeding, his wife and all of the guests perished from whatever poison their beverages contained. The individual who caused those fatalities is aboard the train and has come to get retribution, Wolf was informed. The two mercenaries get into a heated argument that spills over into the bar at the railway station. Werewolf tries to stab Ladybug, but his phone absorbs the blow instead. Having traded a couple more blows. The train is going to approach another station, 
so the brothers wipe off the sun and hide his face with some silly glasses before getting ready to get the suitcase. Wolf throws his knife at Ladybug, but because he uses the briefcase as a shield, it bounces and stabs him instead. Lemon guards love to inspect every passenger leaving the vehicle, and Ladybug swarm as he is ready to depart since they remember Lemon as the guy who attempted to murder him a few years ago while on a mission. Ladybug rushes through the other compartments and collides with the train mascot as he attempts to seize the briefcase from him since he can't use this exit. Ladybug strikes its gorgeous face and tries to flee through the next door, but the doors have already closed and the train has already started moving again. When Ladybug eventually makes her way back to the bar, she conceals the suitcase and borrows Wolf's phone to contact Maria, who verifies the rumor that the goal of the wedding murder was to kill Wolf's employer and everyone else who was connected to him. Even though Ladybug, who attended the wedding as a waitress, mistakenly caused Will to spill his drink, he wasn't responsible for the fatalities. Ladybug, who is struggling to determine what to do next, sees Tangerine searching for the briefcase and makes the decision to hide under the baggage rack. However, Tangerine notices him. Fortunately, he does not know him from that previous assignment and continues to stroll. When Tangerine runs into Prince and Yuichi later, Prince repeats him Ladybug's description since she saw him dash by earlier when he asked if they had seen the suitcase. While waiting for Ladybug to take a seat across from him, Lemon goes back to his seat and gets a text from his brother with a description. Ladybug proposes a bargain since she doesn't want me to work with risky individuals. If they don't murder him, he'll hand the briefcase back to them. Lemon would be happy to accept, but he doesn't want to be friendly now that Ladybug has already murdered someone. Ladybug believes he is talking about Wolf when in fact he is speaking to the sun. Still using the railroad analogies. Lemon attacks Ladybug, calling him his Diesel, but Ladybug is able to put a stop to the battle before Lemon can draw his revolver. He then conceals the rifle in the baggage rack, fills Lemon's water bottle with sleeping powder, and finds Sun's corpse, which has the same bleeding eyes as the guests at Wolf's wedding. Tangerine is returning to the carriage in the meanwhile. Lemon's phones Maria to let her know that someone else is aboard the train while Ladybug snatches his phone and flees the scene. The fact that the son and the family of Will were slain in the same manner cannot be a coincidence, therefore he and the siblings are performing their duty. While attempting to barricade the door between two carriers with baggage, Ladybug interrupts his conversation and mistakenly unlocks a cage containing a snake that was just stolen from the zoo. The sun's bleeding effects are brought on by the snake's venom. Tangerine finds Lemon in his seat, asleep, and continues to look for Ladybug, who is now attempting to flee from the conductor because Lemon should have exited the train by now knowing Tangerine was after him. Ladybug approaches the traveler and offers to give him money to switch clothing. By the time Tangerine arrives, he accidentally approaches the passenger, allowing Ladybug the opportunity to flee. Prince and Yuichi search for the briefcase while in the pub. The elder calls, and the prince has him put the phone on speaker. The elder wants to know why you left the hospital, and the prince asks him to be honest, so you say that you're here to get vengeance. The elder is disappointed to hear this, but prince makes him hang up before he can respond. Now, while Prince remains outside maintaining the innocent girl persona, he will remain in the restroom attempting every conceivable combination until he unlocks the suitcase. She also disposes of your phone so that there won't be any more interruptions. Returning to Tangerine Lemon, who is beginning to suspect Ladybug did not murder the son, is awakened as he goes back to his brother's side. Call telling them to get off the train at the next station with a son in the briefcase instead of traveling to Kyoto interrupts their conversation. The Yakima criminals are waiting for them, but the siblings already know it's a trap and come up with a strategy. Tangerine escapes alone and claims to be a professional who doesn't fall for gimmicks to the henchmen. Lemon, who is still inside, is thus watching over the briefcase and the son, who is now waving through the window as Lemon manipulates him like a puppet. Fortunately, they decide to purchase it, so Tangerine may return unharmed. The brothers must now split out and look for Ladybug on opposite ends of the railway. Tangerine provides Lemon with additional protection before departing. Once they have left. When she realizes her son is dead, Prince arrives to check on him while spitting in his face. She then returns to the restroom, where you can see that he has finally opened the briefcase. Prince, however, isn't concerned about the money, instead, 
she intends to bury a bomb inside so that when White Death opens it, it would kill him. The Richie's gun uses the same technique she used to rig it, which was inspired by the fact that whenever someone attempted to assassinate White Death, he would murder them back with their own weapons. While Maria tells that a prominent physician who operated on criminals was slain in the midst of an operation by the same eye-bleeding poison, Ladybugs are hiding in a separate toilet. In order to protect his own life, Ladybug must locate the siblings and provide them the assassin's name so they may give it to the siblings. Using Lemon's phone turns out to be a mistake as Tangerine uses the tracking software to locate Ladybug in the restroom. The two assassins start another battle and trade blows until Tangerine has to answer a summons from the henchman of White Death. This time, he is instructed to exit the train at the next stop with a briefcase or everyone would perish. Tangerine is at a loss on what to do. However, Ladybug comes up with a strategy, Ladybug will pose as Lemon because the criminals are unaware of his appearance. With a random bag they had stolen, the men exit at the next stop, but their scheme backfires when the briefcase unintentionally opens and exposes it isn't the one with the money. Fortunately, Ladybug and Tangerine escape from the White Death's goons just as the train is about to depart once again. Speaking of Lemon, as he sips his water and continues his search for Ladybug, he encounters Yuichi and Prince, who once again play the innocent girl game when questioned about a dubious guy carrying a case. Lemon, however, doesn't trust her since she clearly claims that he never mentioned seeing a bag, indicating that she is only his fuel to get him to speak. Lemon shoots Yuichi turns on Prince next, but sleeping powder causes him to drop out at that precise time, so Prince snatches his revolver and kills him before concealing him in the toilet. Before they leave, she binds the doorknob up to prevent anybody from escaping. Ladybug informs Tangerine of the location of the suitcase at the next stop and attempts to exit, but Tangerine forbids him since he still needs a fall man. Realizing he is without options. Tangerine is expelled off the train by Ladybug just before it resumes its journey. Tangerine decides that this is insufficient and pursues the train, jumping on its tail before smashing a glass to board again. Ladybug hears the Richie's phone ring as she is changing carriages and runs to answer it. The senior calls Ladybug to check on his kid, but after advising him to use the monitoring app, Ladybug hangs up on him. He eventually returns to the pub and finds the rigged briefcase exactly where he left it. He rechecks Wolf's corpse for any more evidence. As it turns out, the Hornet, who has been hidden inside the mascot outfit all along, was the one who killed the son, and he has come to murder her. She also gained entry to the wedding by posing as the cook. However, Ladybug is discovered by Hornet first, who approaches him after stealing the uniform from a trolley worker. Before injecting Ladybug with a needle loaded with poison, he said that she had been promised the money in the suitcase. Hornet pulls out the antidote with the aim of killing herself, but Ladybug acts fast and snatches the needle to stab her back. Ladybug, however, takes it for himself and abandons her to perish. Returning to Tangerine he locates the restroom and uses the title doorknob to unlock it, where he discovers his brother's corpse. After removing his necklace and placing it around Lemon's neck, the grieving man grabs the rifle from his hand and prepares to do retribution. He then makes a call to White Death, telling him to meet him at Kyoto's end because he should quit being a coward. White Death admits he knows only the mercenaries are remaining on board and all the people have already departed since he purchased all the tickets himself. He claims he isn't frightened about the train exploding because he can't murder all the passengers. After White Death hangs up, Tangerine runs into Prince, who once again acts like an innocent girl while crying and making up a narrative. When Prince turns around, Tangerine first believes her, but she then realizes that Lemon had stuck a sticker of the figure Diesel on her back before he was shot. When Ladybug appears and claims Princess Crocodile Tears, he leaps on Tangerine to stop him. Tangerine discovers Prince has been the evil person all along and attempts to shoot her. In the conflict, Tangerine is accidentally killed by the gun's discharge. Ladybug pledges to look out for the girl when the train approaches the next station. Prince must go to the end of the line. She begs Ladybug not to leave her alone by pretending that her suitcase is stuck since she is afraid he will lose his opportunity to go once again. Ladybug may have gone, but someone did enter the home who followed the tracking app's recommendations. 
When she interrupted his chat with Yuichi and sat across from them, he immediately knows his voice from when he passes by. The snake bites Ladybug as she attempts to retrieve the pistol that the prince indicates she found lying about. He rushes to the bathroom in fear and drops the snake in the toilet. Fortunately, the antidote is still effective, so he survives. Prince revealed that she wanted Yuichi to assist her fight the White Death and it had been the only way to get them on the train. In the meanwhile, the older grabs touches his bag and recognizes she is the one who pushed his grandson from the roof. She seems to be implying that Yuichi and his kid are both deceased. The older, though, seems unfazed by her manipulations. At the hospital, he left a bodyguard, and she has already murdered Princess Goons. Finding that she does not have the advantage Ladybug returns to sit with the elder who chooses to narrate his narrative while Prince rushes to another carriage. The older vowed to support his family no matter what when he was a young man. He rose to prominence in Mitigation's criminal family as a result.